learn about love? Well, here's your teacher, Professor Bruno Brooks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, it's love. Yes, love time. We're playing for romance, we're playing for prizes, and we're playing to bring those six people on the stage now with the lovely Helen Brumby! <laughs> That's very nice. What do you have from Grattan's? <laughs> no, a more expensive shop. Oh. Listen, you've got loads of competition on the show tonight because the guys are really gorgeous. Uh -huh. One's got the most hunkiest voice you've ever heard and body to go with it. Yeah. And another one likes to spin a few discs. So you better watch out. Oh, is he a DJ? He could be. Oh, I tell you what, I'll give him a run for his yeah. money. First of all, the three girls, give him a cheer. Here they are. <laughs> Who do we have first, Helen? Right. Hillero is followed home by the bogus boys in blue. Yes. Maggie gets her hands on loads of money every day. Loads of money. And Steph's double date with a guy made her spit fire. OK, give him a hand. There you are, the three girls. <laughs> You've got your fan club in tonight. We can hear them in the audience. And peel your eyes for these three guys. <laughs> Here they are. Steph's got, Steph's got a hand over her mouth going, oh, no! I can't believe it. All right, who's first then, Helen? Joe can tell Bruno what deep love really is. John signed several autographs because girls thought he was the best. <laughs> and Alan is a DJ who's going to give Bruno a spin tonight. OK, give him a hand, everybody. Give him a hand. Well, don't you agree? I think we're going to have a very interesting show tonight. So we're going to have a quick chat with Hillary first of all. Hillary was followed by the bogus boys in blue. Tell us a little bit about that, very briefly. Mm. I was coming home from a nightclub, yeah. half past two in the morning, and two guys were flashing in the car. Um, stopped outside the house. Two guys were flashing in the car. Flashing? No, not like flashing. Oh, right, right. And I've got a sign at the back. If you're rich, I'm single. Yeah. Followed me all the way to the door. Told me that they were police and that I was done for speeding. Ah. And also one of my brake lights wasn't working. And it turns out they weren't police. They just wanted a date. Oh really? Yeah. They're crafty, aren't they? These fellas, yeah. aren't they? I should know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Hilary, nice to see you. Maggie gets her hands on loads of money every day. You work at a bank, I believe. I certainly do, Midland Bank. Yeah? You say yes? I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steph, hello, Steph. Steph's doubles, d double date with a guy made a spit fire. Play on words there, I think. Am I right? Yes. What had happened, Bruno, was I'd um, gone out one night with my boyfriend, who was a DJ at a club, and um, after saying goodbye to him, I decided to have a, another fling in a car park with a different man. How'd you do? And yeah. uh, I was going down the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> I was going down the motorway and we, there was lights flashing and everything. We thought it was the police and uh, I pulled up and he pulled up and it wasn't the police, it was my boyfriend. He dragged me out, pulled me over the bonnet and said how much he loved me. And I thought, my God, oh, never man. again. <laughs> Weren't they the same blokes who followed you, Hilary? <laughs> <laughs> Give them a nice round of applause, the ladies. Thank you. OK, on to the fellas. Now, you know, we are well known on this show for love, you see. And is, you know, we've got Joe there. You are well known for love as well, aren't you, Joe? I'm well known for love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bruno, I'm going weak at the knees. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got a deeper voice than Joe. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, no, you haven't. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what, a quick competition. I say love and then you say love, all right? We'll see which one's the deepest, OK? Maybe you should go first. OK. <laughs> Okay, Joe, I'll go first, baby. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Love. Love. Hang on. We get the woo first and then you do your bit. I'll get, even, I'll get even lower now. Love. Love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're sexier. Hello, John. Hello. John's been mistaken for George Best before now. Do you think he looks like George Best? 
What are you laughing at? What are you like? John, I mean, you used to have long hair, didn't you? Yeah, and a full beard as well. And a full beard. Yeah. I mean, I would understand that. I mean, were yeah. you signing autographs yeah, to George Yeah, on Best? his behalf. I've done that. Yeah? yeah. Great. Well, our George has brought pleasure to many people, haven't they? Or thousands of people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but they're all females, I think. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> here we go with Alan. Alan, interference on your television here. And, uh, Alan, where are you from, mate? Welshpool, mid Welshpool. Wales. Welshpool. Good on you. And you're a DJ. That's correct. And you've got to give me a spin, are you? For your money, any time. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I've got a record on the turntable. Here it is, Kylie Minogue, and I should be so lucky. I want you to introduce it in your inimitable style, OK? Right, this is Frank Spencer take, doing it. Yeah. Mm, Betty's favourite coming up. This is Kylie Minogue, and I should be so lucky. Mm. <laughs> oh, very good. What's that? What's that? You've got to put your tie on or something. No, Bruno, I've not forgot to put my tie on. Um, a friend back home, Margaret Butler, says you wear the same ties day in, day out, so she'd ask me to give you two tie. ties. Oh, thanks, pal. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> what was the name again? Margaret Butler. Margaret, from thank, Newtown. thank you very much. Round of applause for Margaret, please. Thank you. <laughs> Would you look after those for me, Helen? I will. The well needed. On to questions. There you go. OK, you've parked on double yellow lines while you pop into a shop. And when you come out, a traffic warden is booking you. Do you accept the ticket? Do you try to talk the warden out of it? Or do you get aggressive? So what is it? Is, do you accept the ticket? Do you talk the warden out of it? Or do you get aggressive? Choose one of those three answers now, and let's see how you would react in that situation. I must be honest, I would try and get out of it every time, but uh, let's see how the lads went. They went for exactly the same answer. They tried to talk the warden out of it. Uh, have you come across that problem before, John? Uh, not many times, but when I have, of, uh, you know, tried to talk my way out of it. Yeah, did you succeed then? You, you, you... Uh, no. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you, you could have told them that you were George Best, and maybe the yeah, and just sound, uh, you know, yeah. could have done, but no. What about you, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just sing my way out of it. You sing my way? <laughs> hey, I've heard he's a good singer. I'm going to test you on that a bit later on. <laughs> Come on, ladies. We've got uh, Hillary here. Who would accept the ticket? Yeah. Because no. it's happened to me before. What, just Jim Press, too. Yeah, it's happened to me before. Well, they're 18 quid these days. It's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of money. And uh, yeah. Maggie, what would you do? You would uh, try I'll to... Oh, just... It being, it's got to be a man, isn't it? I'll just use my charm. Right. I see. And still get a ticket. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's about right, isn't it? <laughs> yes, absolutely right, Helen. Good point. A friend of yours shows you their new baby. It's as ugly as sin. <laughs> What's up? It was Liz Kershaw's. No, it wasn't. No. Do you tell them... Sorry, Liz. Do you tell them how lovely it is? Do you tell them how lovely the pram is? Or do you tell them better luck next time? <laughs> You could all choose now, one of those three answers. Tell them how lovely it is, tell them how lovely the pram is, or tell them better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guys, tell them how lovely it is. <laughs> You're an honest lot, aren't you? <laughs> what, what sort of baby were you like, Alan? I mean, were you a, han were you a handsome baby, were you, when you were...? Yes. Yes? I bet Definitely. you were. Definitely, yes. He's also a liar as well. Uh, and, Joe, uh, you would be just... Polite, really. That's what you're being, isn't it? Mm. Yeah? yeah. Were you a handsome baby? Same as I am now. Oh! <laughs> so moving on to the girls. Steph, uh, <laughs> tell them better luck next time. I believe in telling the truth. Yes. Yes. Straight to the point. I used to have shutters on my pram. It's great. <laughs> no one can see me. Uh, I heard that actually. <laughs> it was you who told me. <laughs> Your partner snores, but won't believe it when you tell them. Uh, do you try to stop them? Do you secretly tape them or buy earplugs? This is a very good question because it, it's a fact of life. It really happens all the time, especially in my bedroom. Try to stop them, secretly tape them or buy earplugs. What would you do? Choose one of those three answers now, very quickly. Who would buy the earplugs, I wonder? No one, it seems. Uh, most of you would try to stop them. Maggie, how would you try and stop your boyfriend from snoring? Easy, just pinch their nose and they wake up. You pinch the nose. Yeah, they can't breathe, so they wake up. Yeah, I've heard of that one before. <laughs> um, John, how would you stop your girlfriend snoring? Well, kick her out of bed, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you find out a bit about each other now, and I hope there's enough there for you to make your ideal choice, because that's exactly what you've got to do. Will we find love, I wonder, on the show tonight? All right, ladies, finger on button and make your choice for your gent now.
think the guys are getting eager here. It's now your turn. Press your buttons now. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's all being locked into the computer. The revelation in two minutes. Keep it on Sky One. See you in a sec. <laughs> All a bit of fun here in the studio. Welcome back to the show. It's love at first sight. And now we're going to reveal all. Well, not literally, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find out who fancies who. And we'll start with Joe. Joe on the end there, baby. You know, Joe, this could be a moment, Joe, when you fall in love. Real love? I said real love. Real, real, real love. I got it. <laughs> Which of these three girls did you choose? I see. For the lady in the middle there, you went for Maggie. Tell us why you fancy Maggie then. Well, she said she took care of money. I got a lot of money to take care of. <laughs> You're a cool dude, you are, aren't you? Is it true you sing as well? Mm -hmm. you give us a quick bit of my way. Go on. You want my way or do you want? I used to be afraid that you were never gonna love me this way. All right! But I feel better now. You see, girls, I only hope you thought about your choice. Has Maggie gone for Joe? Here is the answer. Well, George Best lookalike, John. Uh, Maggie, why did you choose John? Well, I like football and I like to play the field. Oh, <laughs> really? Ooh, really? Ooh, well, John's eyes have lit up, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> did John go for Maggie? Here we go. Here's your answer. <laughs> surprise, surprise, John. <laughs> George always went for the blondes, <laughs> didn't he? All right, uh, why did you go for Steph? Tell us why. Well, I quite fancy being dragged over the bonnet, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> John wants to be dragged over the bonnet of a Spitfire car, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, watching at home. And uh, will he get his opportunity? He will if Steph fancies John. Here comes the answer right now. Will it happen? Will it? <laughs> John, there is one thing. I know that Steph was talking about a Spitfire earlier on, but in fact, since that uh, occasion, she has changed the car. She now drives a Robin Reliant. <laughs> Still, why did you choose him, Steph? Um, because he's got an air of mystery about him, and I like a good mystery tour. I see. OK. Well, you're going out on a little romantic trip tonight to a restaurant. We'll tell you where very shortly. Let's go to Hillary now. Hillary, which of these three fellas did you choose? I'll tell you what, Joe, do you want to swap seats with John? 
<laughs> Why did you choose uh, oh, John then? Because I'm a George Best fanatic, oh, and yeah. it does look like George Best. He does a bit, yeah. doesn't he? He's in the eyes a bit yeah, there. Smashing. Yeah, smashing. You like yep. football as well? I do. Well, John's chosen, I'm afraid. He's, he's now with Steph, one of those <laughs> things. But uh, still, let's go now to Alan. Here, little Alan here. On the end, which of these three girls did you choose? You want to know which one you fancied now, Alan? Come on, here we go. This is, this is uh, the answer. Same choice as Joe. You went for Maggie. Tell us, tell us why you fancied Maggie. Well, she can take into account my love any time. Really? Make a firm deposit with it. Ah, oh, <laughs> he's a romantic. Give me a nice big ah oh, and a round of applause. Lovely. <laughs> We've got one matching couple on the show tonight. They are John and Steph. Come and join us. Give them a cheer. That's it. <laughs> You ought to see his face here, I tell you. Oh, I don't know. Listen, you know, it's all about six contestants on the show. It takes a lot of bottle to come and love at first sight. I want to say thanks to Maggie, also to Hilary, to Joe and Alan. You will be getting your passion pins as well. Give them a nice big cheer. They're great people. They're going to love it. It's lovely. Thank you. Well done. Right then. Where are they going, Helen? You're both going for a superb meal at the fabulous Quan de Jai Chinese restaurant. This wonderful modern restaurant employs authentic chefs from Beijing, China's capital city, which means you're in for an unforgettable culinary experience. But will it be an unforgettable romantic one too? Only time will tell. Yeah, <laughs> all right. We can't wait to see you next time. Give them a big cheer, everybody! <laughs> A lot of fun on that. Nice one. Let's go back to one of our previous shows now and remember when this couple fell in love at first sight. Oh, you can see the way she's, she's sat now. She's uh, very polite. Very Good deportment. Cute. Very cute, yeah. And uh, what she was saying before, uh, I think on our wedding night, she, she would be a very vital accessory to my wedding night. Absolutely. He seems like a really fun, loving person and I, could, I like a lot of fun as well. Vern is from Manchester, Judy is from London, and here they are on Love at First Sight! <laughs> Did you see where you're going? No, right? I thought I couldn't. I can't. <laughs> dun, 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 Blues Brothers, eh? <laughs> is that because it was a late night, or...? It was a killing night. It was a killing night. Dancing yeah. till dawn. Yeah? Unbelievable. And your, your eyes are a bit like this, are they? Yeah, they're still like that. Which go on, take your glasses off. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at those like... Ooh, yes. Just, just well, they're not that bad. Bit, yes. Was he all right? Did I, did Good I fun. Him? Good fun. Yeah, what was, yeah. The, what was his best asset? Um, Good dancer. Yeah. Oh, great singer. Really? Brilliant. I didn't know he sung. Mm. I didn't know. In the I ear. told you that before. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see, whispering uh, <laughs> sweet nothings into the ear. Yeah. And did you find Judy nice? Yes, yeah, she's very nice. Uh, got on well with her. Yeah. Uh, had a lot of things in much. common. <laughs> she didn't talk too much. I can't get a word in edgeways. What were you talking yeah. about generally all night? What, what was the, the one subject that, uh, that you both sort of clicked onto Me? very quickly? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Judy. <laughs> Oh, we were talking about food a lot, actually, because uh, we went to a nice Indian restaurant. Yeah. It was good fun. Uh, and the thing was, she was talking all the time, mm. and the waiter kept coming back, and we never ordered. It's <laughs> <Yeah, that's> crazy. <laughs> and I bet there was one occasion last night when you thought to yourselves, or even said it, I wonder whether we'll win that love trip. That's right. Well, that's yeah. why you're here, and we've got our fingers crossed for you. So we'll see you in two minutes. We'll find out whether it happens. See you then. Two very happy, contented people are here. There's no doubt about that. Vern and Judy, well done so far. You've got this far, which is great in itself. Look, he's licking his tongue out here. He can't wait to get on with it. Prize is behind that uh, board over there. We're going to try and win you the love trip. Okay, so the first question to you, the love. 
Would he complain about women drivers? Would he complain about women drivers? Yes or no? Write it down for one. Would you complain about women drivers? Yes or no? And the answer is... Yes. You're wrong. <laughs> He says he wouldn't complain about women drivers, but I don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> Next question to you, Verm. She is in a bar on holiday and a Miss Wet T-shirt contest is announced. Does she stay and have a laugh for it? Does she ask to leave? She would ask you to leave. Or would she actually enter the competition herself? So what would you do, Judy? Would you stay and have a laugh? Would you ask to leave or would you enter it? OK, what do you think the answer is? She'd stay. And have a laugh. Another laugh. You're right. There you are. That's another love heart. Let's go. That's the first love heart. How many lengths can he swim in the swimming baths or in the sea? How many lengths do you think he can swim? So write it down, Vern. Two, four, one, ten, all day. Yeah. What have we got? All right, what do you think? I'd say quite a lot. Twenty. Twenty. Mm. <laughs> He said 30. There's a, there's, a, uh, there's a difference, isn't there? There's a difference between 20 and 30. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll ask the audience. Should I give them that? Yeah! Two love hearts. Yeah! So, next question, how many fillings has she got? How many fillings has she got? So you write it down, Judy. Tell us how many you have. It's a terrible admission to make, especially on television, but uh, how many do you think she has? Eleven. Eleven? <laughs> Eleven? <laughs> I've got lots of teeth. <laughs> we don't have that many fillings. She only has <laughs> five. Only <laughs> five? Five. Well, he puts us in a glass at the end of the night, does he? <laughs> right, another question then to you this time, Judy. How often do you think that he's overdrawn at the bank? How often do you think that he's overdrawn at the bank? Never, sometimes, or always? Never, sometimes, or always? And the answer is... Sometimes. Sometimes, that's right! <laughs> Can she play a musical instrument? Can she play a musical instrument? Yes or no, Judy? Can you play a musical instrument? And the answer is... No. Correct! Yes! <laughs> that means you get four left hearts! <laughs> Not bad. Four big chances of getting this love <laughs> trip. It's a love trip to the other side of the world, to Auckland, New Zealand, where the British visitor is made to feel really at home. As well as all your creature comforts, you'll be able to take in some of the sights, watch the bubbling thermal mud baths, or thrill to a traditional Maori tribal display. And don't forget to display lots of love for each other on this terrific trip down under. <laughs> anyway, that's the Star Flies and the Love Trip tickets with Helen. Great stuff. So, how many hearts have you got again? Four. Four. Just testing. That means you've got 16 seconds on the clock to get to as many prizes as possible. Keep away from the broken heart and your 16 seconds start now. These bold ruby heart earrings from the Atwood Collection are a glamorous accessory to any romantic occasion. With triple plated 22 karat gold, you'll sparkle into your loved one's eyes. Very nice. <laughs> Vern, what you always wanted, my friend. That's <laughs> on, Bruno. Okay, next one. Here we are. Twelve seconds. Let's go for another prize. Go for it now. Girls, stay groomed with this complete body care set from Remington. It features the unique polish away system, a manicure set, and the famous Lady Remington shaver. Yeah. <laughs> Under the arm. Lady Rem, you know. Under the arm. I was going to pull her arm. Well, you're doing well so far. Are you ready for the next one? Just about, Waste yeah. no more time. Eight seconds on the Eight clock. Two. And go for it. You've won £50 worth of gear from the Dash range of fashion designer wear. For guys or girls, Dash is just the label to keep you ahead in the fashion state. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and shoot for the next one. Shake it now. Quickly, quickly! A prize to get you going, a travel set from Morphe Richards. There's a travel alarm, a travel line, a hairdryer, and for when you get back home, a super radio alarm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't get the love trip, but you won some very handy things there, yeah, at least. Did. OK, the love trip is where, Helen? Heart number three, Bruno. Heart number three. Straight ahead. There you are. 
still, it'll have to go somewhere else. You are definitely, definitely right for each other as far as I'm concerned. I've, I've been watching you very closely uh, during the show and I think the audience will agree on that. Aren't they made for each other, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. We hope it lasts. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you for playing the game. See you next time. And love at first sight! <laughs>